Okay guys, what you're seeing there is just uh, a check that our oil squirt hole is working. It's clean. I sent the tip cleaner through there and just blew through it with some acetone. So, we're doing another Willys engine build tip of the day and I'm going to show you how I like to put pistons on the connecting rods. Okay guys, one, two, three, four. All your oil squirt holes go away from the camshaft. That's your, as the engine's rotating in this fashion, that's your maximum thrust on that side. That's where your oil squirt hole needs to be. Don't turn it around. Make sure your oil squirt hole is away from the camshaft. Now we're going to put the piston on the rod. This is number two. The piston has a notch and that goes forward in the engine. So we've got our squirt hole like that. That's going to go on there like that. Your T-slot goes toward the camshaft side. Now, the pin can be kind of a nuisance to get through there and don't Put this in a press or anything like that what we're going to do this is just a little wedge made out of steel i'm going to stick that guy in there and grab my hammer give that a couple taps and you can see our pin's going to slide through nice and easy okay squirt hole Piston goes on. Pin can easily slide through. And we're ready to put our bolt in next. Okay guys, on your bolt, use a little bit of your ARP Ultra Torque. That is your pinch bolt. A lot of times these are not in good shape uh, because guys don't get the uh, pin in the right orientation. Okay, that should slide in there. With that wedge in there, you could kind of move things around and get that adjusted nice. You should be able to take that and thread that in by hand. If you got to get a, a wrench on that and you and, and you and you're really forcing it through there, you're going to ruin the threads. That should go by hand. Take your wedge out, then you can get your wrench on there and finish that the rest of the way. I've seen a lot of guys put pistons on backwards where the notch is facing the rear, and I've seen a lot of bolts that had no threads left on them because they couldn't rotate the pin in there because um, they didn't have the wedge in there. Um, you can't get a socket in there and get some torque on there so you're going to kind of have to feel for between 35 and 40 foot pounds and get that where you want it. And here we are again our squirt hole away from the cam which is sitting over here our notch is facing forward and that's number two. So just a simple thing like putting a wedge in there will make your piston insulation go so much easier. Do not take these over to a press. I have, I have seen guys break their pistons. They don't set them up right. These are not meant to be pressed in. This is a slip fit with a pinch bolt and by spreading that just a hair it makes all the difference in the world. And that is your Willie's engine assembly tip of the day. Thanks for watching again. Catch you on the next one.